we go. eFootball 2023 is out now. So let's see what changes it has to offer on launch from eFootball 2022. Straight away off the bat, lads, it doesn't look like much from the menus. And that is because it isn't much. All they've done is add a few filters when you're searching for your players like you can see here who's in your game plan and who's not. So it does help narrow it down a bit like that, but nothing major. And even for my low expectations of what was to come, it somehow still fell a bit short. So another little design they've changed is now you can see it says mission at the top. It, it was hidden away in a different menu where you got to your objectives and premium objectives. Again, it's just a little menu change. It doesn't really change how they operate. Yes, they've added a new legend in terms of managers. So you've now got Johan Cruyff and Xavi. But in terms of actual how the game is different, it's not. It's just another bit of new licensing. I think we all expected player ratings to be updated. And from what I've seen, they have. As you can see, the Darwin Nunes in my club, who I bought from eFootball 2022, is a three-star player. He is now in the new transfer market, a four-star player. So you know who one of my early signings is going to be. Um, one of the big disappointments is, yes, we don't have Corp or anything like that, but they still haven't managed to add in where you can, you know, invite your friends to play for a friendly match. I did hear rumours that, or they may, may have confirmed that that's going to come in the end of October or start of October, something like that. But... Why did they do this sort of update and rename it eFootball 2023? It doesn't feel worthy of it. Not Well, another big thing before I say it doesn't feel worthy of it is the fact that in PES, we used to have where you could search for teams that are team strength level 3 and then you could play against them as long as your team strength was level 3 or below. Or, you know, matching your team strength, basically. Um, for some weird reason, that has been taken out of eFootball 22. A lot of people had voiced their concerns and opinion for that and I know they have mentioned about possibly bringing it back if they haven't why haven't they I don't understand what the hell they are making everyone play with five star teams I could roll out with a three star team and I'll end up playing five star teams non-stop I mean I don't mind having that option to do that if I switch that filter off but I don't want to be forced into that and for some weird reason they haven't done that yet so there haven't been many changes to be honest and the only other thing I can do is what we're going to do right now. And that's jump onto the pitch and see if there's any gameplay changes there. There may be a few changes here or there that don't really change the experience in the menus or anywhere else, to be honest. So is it really worth changing the title from eFootball 2022 to eFootball 23? I just think, to be honest, lads, they did this just to get a fresh wave of hype before FIFA 23 comes out and, you know, gets their hype. So I thought Konami thought, let's just jump the gun and do that. Uh, the only other thing that I think may make it necessary, but I don't think it does, is that the licensing of the kits and teams. But to be honest, we see games that are, you know, like Warzone and stuff like that, that this is the model they've taken. Um, all they do is just update it and they don't change the whole name of the game or anything like that. And yeah, I think the only other thing is it could be licensing and kits and things like that. But I don't really think it needs a name change for that. They should have really given it the name change when they've changed some of the game modes or added, you know, the match filters back in and, you know, a few big things like co-op and, you know, Master League maybe. I know that's going to be paid for, but still, at least have a big feature come back to the game and then do it, not just menu changes. Man. It doesn't feel enough. Well, let's hope the action on the pitch gives us a bit of a better taste. Okay, first change noted straight away, lads. You go into events and as you can see, we go to worldwide clubs and the one thing that a lot of people were saying is let us earn eFootball coins and Konami have to their credit allowed us to earn some but to be honest having to do a complete event to only earn 50 eFootball coins it doesn't feel enough you're gonna have to play like at least four or five matches or something and that doesn't even let you open up one featured pack I mean you have to get a hundred coins for like one special pack so yeah I mean Konami yes thank you you've actually allowed us to earn some but up it a little bit, at least make it actually worth it to you. Especially when they make this event once a week. I mean, 50 coins a week just isn't enough. And we up against, yep, too quick. At least, come on Konami, we don't need to see the loading sign, just let that, you know, use the information stay up a bit longer. Right, let's see what we're up against. He's got Lewandowski hugged, absolutely smothered by Neymar and Salah. He's got Vettina, I think, Kante, Goretzka, Robertson, Rudiger, Alaba, Timber. I mean, he doesn't seem strong enough in a team like this. And 97 rated Donnarumma, lads. Don't worry. My big boys are back. 
Um, Jesus is on form in real life and in the game he just seems to be fire as well. So I thought, let's try him out. But let's see my player's form. Ooh, Jesus. Ah, thought you'd be a bit more up for it than that. Um, what have we got on the bench? Okay, these two are off. Um, no, I think we'll actually we'll just play with these lots, see how they go. Right, lads, here we go. Let's get the ball rolling. Let's hope for... Oh, my. I knew I was, I was closed down too quick there. Okay, it feels like... I was playing this game last night before the you know big change and the game was felt like it was playing like a fifa pace man it was really fast and madness was going on as well and straight away like i tackle him instantly it doesn't feel like anything's changed i tackled him and it works out better for him fucking hell oh my god yeah I don't, I'm, I'm gonna be very surprised if it feels like we've got any changes it's not the worst thing oh, okay come on oh man there we go. Thank you, Cancelo. Neymar. De Bruyne. Oh, okay. Okay, don't worry. I saw that, mate. I saw that. <laughs> Me and Neymar are best mates. I know exactly what he's going to do all the time. Yeah, flip flap. Okay, oh, okay. No, no, no. I've overdone it. <laughs> right, calm down, mate. Calm down. Here we go, Neymar. Kante just wanted it more than you there. But no, oh Neymar, you, did you see that? He won the ball and then just sat back. Oh my God, it's, it's just standard, isn't it? Interceptions, poor touches. Come on, De Bruyne. Whip it forward towards Gabriel Jesus. Give and go, give and go over the top. No, again, that, as soon as you play the pass, why is he stopping his run? He doesn't need to. I'm not saying he was gonna get it, but you'd be a lot more of a threat if you kept going. What did I just see Kante do there? <laughs> That's half watching it. Oh shit. He's going to run through me here. Nah, we got that. Thank you, Robbo. Way, Ale, Ale, Ale. Calm down. Jeez. What the fuck? Ah. <sighs> Thank you, Fabinho. This guy's a decent player, to be fair. He sniffed the danger very quickly. Okay. Go on. Overlap is on. Thank you. Here we go. Come on, Robert. Come on, let's put in a special cross as we look for name. Okay, falls to De Bruyne. The fuck? The hell was that? Can Cancelo to float one in. It's not a bad ball. Not a bad ball at all. Okay, that's a mighty throw. Ooh, looky there, mate. Oh, lovely, lovely control by De Bruyne there. And we go back to him. Okay, just go out wide. Just left too much space for Dembele! And there we go. <laughs> typical, typical goal. Okay, thank you. We'll take that. Okay, there's one. I'm gonna skip past another. And get some Brazilian magic. Okay. I've done by the computer auto press. Okay, there we go. Come on, De Bruyne. Come on, De Bruyne. Come on, De Bruyne. Let's go for something special! I meant to go straight back to him. I don't know why it's so slow. For Kante. Oh, lovely, lovely footwork, lads. And we're at it again. We're just a menace. We're just absolutely dangerous right now. Gonna just chop him behind. Send Timber down. Timber! <laughs> you get it. You get it. And we got it. We got it. Uh, oh, come on, lads. Let's not get too excited here. Let's not give away a kickoff goal straight away. They, that's something they need to patch up massively. The the disadvantage you get at kickoff is insane. Like what I was doing with them, like default players was insane, man. Full power, what the hell was that? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, he felt a bit of a tougher match than where he's only had the one shot. Maybe it's just cause he, he can kind of half defend me a bit. So I felt like tougher there, but yeah, fair enough. Fair score line to me. All right, here we go, lads. Another kickoff to defend. And there we go has done his job and then he's given it straight back to him and he's on it back <laughs> without even knowing it there we go someone on stream saying i didn't do enough lofted passes oh brilliant brilliant oh unlucky Goreska's, is he playing right wing or something oh fuck off fuck off i've positioned him perfectly there uh, like yeah he's offside i don't give a damn but like uh, th that was that was happening on stream last night like stupidly as well man anyway here we go neymar gonna just Go that way instead. Here we go, Neymar. 
Okay, there's one. Oh my god. Thought we might have done that a tad too late. Okay, no, no, I'll let him keep the ball. I can't be asked to long out this recording anymore. Literally, that's why I didn't let him have the free kick. Oh shit, it might be a bad decision though. No, I saw that coming. I saw that coming. Lads, I'm not as bad as you don't think in this game. Uh oh, uh oh. Whee! Oh, beautifully done. Beautifully done by Neymar. As my phone starts to ring and distract me. Oh, and that they distract you. Who the hell is it? Should have only been one. Okay, there's skips past one beautifully. And again, oh my god, Neymar's turned into the rock. Just having players bounce off him. I'm doing too much of them, that's my fault. Ah. Come on, Poyol, I'm trying to get to you here. There we go. You dirty bastard. Oh, oh, come on, De Bruyne, man. Oh, shit. What the hell? See, this guy seems to manage to just go through me. He's like Houdini, man. My players don't want to stick their foot out. There you go, lads. There you go. Okay, this gets past one. Come on, Neymar. Look at the space in the middle. Where the hell is Jesus running off to, the idiot? Making it a harder pass. Ah, that was a, oh my god. I thought he had that. This, yeah, this game seems to have gotten worse somehow. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. Just switch between the two. Uh, come on. Oh my god. Oi! Right, here we go. Long looking for the big man. Collar is all his all day. Come on, let's go back to him again. Come on, Collar, that's yours. I should have got in front of him. Got your head across that man. The, the knockdown was there. Oh damn. It's alright, Cancelo's there on the cover. Why? Do you see what I mean? When certain things happen, players just switch off. It's just annoying. Oi! Look at that stupidity. Was Poyle really trying to control it when I told him? To get rid. You're an idiot. Substitutions taking place. Oof, this guy's a he's a good player. He's decent. He's decent. Plays with a bit of a with a bit of a brain. I mean, where does Kante get that ability from? To double touch just that swiftly. Okay now. There you go. We won't get a chance for a break, sadly. Uh that second half was just so AIDS, man. So many times the ball just went through my players' legs and I tried doing one thing and something else happened. Look, I didn't even get a shot in the second half. This guy literally dominated that second half and I felt like I didn't even know what the hell was going on. It felt like I just played a different game. I'm not even lying. He didn't feel like e-football there. I mean, it did because it got so stupid and it became a Konami football game. Uh, but to be fair, lads, it didn't feel much different to what it was when I was streaming the other night. So... In terms of gameplay, it's comfortable to say they've not actually made any improvements. Uh, they may have tried doing something different, uh, but I can't really see it. Uh, if they have, it's just got a bit more stupid. But yeah, guys, this was just a quick test to see. I thought I might have played another match or two to see if anything felt different. But honestly, lads, it feels so identical to the other day that I don't even have to play another match to say that it comfortably hasn't changed on the pitch yet. So yeah, guys, um, I will be... You know, doing another division series. Let me know what you want to see. What a Serie A team, a Premier League team. Even if you've got your own 11 players, just whack them in the comment section. I'll, you know, run off a team like that. Just give an idea of what you want to see next. And I'll get onto that in the next episode. So yeah, guys, let me know what your thoughts are about eFootball changing from 2022 to 2023. Let me know them thoughts in the comment section. And if you did like this video, lads, remember to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, remember to subscribe. Until next time, guys. Peace.